All right, guys. Today, I'm gonna make a video on No S for w Wicked, and my goal here is to show you how to do it stealth as easy as possible. We're not gonna do it on the first attempt. I'm gonna show you how to go in, find what you need, and make your way through to make the game 10 times easier as you play this. This doesn't need to be done with any certain set of perks. You can mix it, match it, however you do like. The only perks I do recommend, this one, quick fingers because you're gonna be open a lot of safety deposit boxes and then this one will let you grab the bags faster but in reality this one this one this one are the main three i'd say you need i have some extra ones that i have you can throw these in here really you don't need them this one's nicer when you play the higher difficulties but this is going to be normal and i'm gonna show you guys how to do it pretty much easier to make your way through uh, I also recommend Strategist. When you start doing this one, this one allows you to ping more than one people at a time. And that will help you get everything ready and set up. But let's hop into the actual game. Alright, if you did just get the game and you are level 1 and this is your first time playing it, one, you probably shouldn't be trying this yet. But this is possible. I recommend putting the suppressor on your pistol immediately out of the gate. The starting pistol, you do have one. But you won't be able to have all those nice perks. So, in reality, you can do this the entire way through, beginning to end, without ever putting your mask on, without ever getting caught. But to do that, you're going to need to know a few passwords, you're going to be, need to know how to get into the safe, or you can just brute force it and try all the codes all the way through, and eventually you will hit it. But that takes a while. Alright, so the things you want to find first, you want to find the key cards and where each room to the key card is. And if you can, find the CEO at that point, which will help you figure all that stuff down. Some people open these. I don't find that necessary. I never really use them. Uh, one of the main card rooms will be right here. You can see there's no charger or no key card spot, so it's not here. But just watch our first camera. You can walk right below it. All right. Be careful sprinting on this. If you sprint here, sometimes the guards will actually hear you if they're walking right here. But let the guards catch you here. It's not the end of the world. Actually, I'm going to go loud as I'm finding all this stuff. So blue room's here. That's going to be a camera room. Kill this guy. Red card is on the second floor. So red card to this room. This is going to be the alarm room and all this stuff you need. And then also, you'll be able to find the switch to the power to do early instead of doing it like they say because you need to hit a switch for this at some point to cut, to cut the power you can do that as soon as you get here you can make that your first thing this wire will always teach you where it is this wire goes this way into this room so you know what's in here okay otherwise it will come in here go up in that corner and you'll see the red wire in here and the wire will come all the way down down, 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 and be right here. It's either right here or right here. I think it's right here. Okay, so we know where the switch is for the power. We know where the red card is. It's on this guy. And then the blue door's down there. So the blue key card will spawn on the bottom guy. And he came up here and I shot him. So the key card will spawn on the bottom floor and then top floor. When you're on overkill, I've had it spawn at the very top once. The only other thing we need to find is where the, um, the manager is spawned, or the CEO, whatever you want to call him. He will either spawn in here. I've had him spawn in here, but not since the beta. I haven't had him spawn in here. Otherwise, he will spawn somewhere. Let's see. Somewhere in here, and he will walk around in here. But when he is walking around in here, that's bad because you can be seen by a guard if he walks there. You can be seen by all the pedestrians in here. So you want to grab him when he comes in here, wandering. Or you can grab him when he comes over here. But if you grab him when he's over here, you need to make sure the cameras are already disabled. And shooting the cameras, I don't ever recommend it because if a guard walks by and he's still in his path, he will spot a shot camera. And then it becomes bad after that. Alright, so that's pretty much everything I can get set up for our pre-run. Now let's restart and actually go into it the right way.
All right, so I'm going to make a guide on each one of the difficulties and how to do it as easy as possible, because I want you to be able to do this. If this helps you in any way, shape, or form, please send this to a friend. That way they can see how to do it. And then the more people you have, the actually better it is, but they have to be educated on how to do this stuff. I recommend closing these just if you're going stealth. I've been spotted through the windows once. Multiple times I've been spotted through this last window right here. This guard will walk here, and when you're standing here breaking into the safe, he can actually spot you when he's in that spot right there. And I've lost a few stealth completion runs because of that. Oh, did they open that or did I miss that? Huh, oh, that's weird. Alright, I like to open all the doors, just get ahead of it. And remember, if you get caught, just stay within the ring of him. That way, it's not the end of the world. We're gonna hit the switch early, so we'll have to deal with it in a minute. Let me shut you. All right, so right there it says pull. If it says observed below, that means someone sees you. Just pay attention to that, and if it Next does up, pop up at any moment, let go of the button. The controls are in the power room upstairs. All right, switch is off. Where's this guard? I'm just going to let him catch me. See, as long as you stay within this ring, you're fine. I will need you to come with me. This area is restricted. Give me your card. Okay, so right now it says pick up. And it said observe for a split second. If it says that when you grab it, someone's going to let the guard know. And then if the guard knows, you get arrested. You can get a perk to get yourself out of handcuffs. But if you look at the top, it says public area. It will change the it will change the searching right below. And when it's searching, if they catch you, they immediately re-arrest you. And that's a pain because you're going to break out of handcuffs once. Unless one of your guys come and sets you free. If you get downed in a solo game, or if you get uh, if you get downed, or you take damage, so if you fall off this and land like here and live, you're gonna immediately pull your gun because it counts a game. The game counts as you getting shot, so it's gonna immediately just be like okay, and then you pull your gun, and then it might as well be loud at that point. All right, let's so open these. We're gonna go in through the top. So we got our blue key card for the cameras. Let's go down here. Blah, blah, blah. Let's try to find where this guard is. I heard him. There's a little right there. He is. Spotted a guard. So the blue is in that corner. Red's on that wall. So let me sneak up behind him. The camera can also catch you if you grab this. So don't let the camera see you while you do that part. Um, oh, camera almost spotted me completely. So I recommend doing this red room area before you do the blue room. Because when you do the blue room, you need to pull out your gun. If you do the blue room first, you're going to have to go gun out, sneak all the way back around and do that. There won't be cameras, but still sneaking with a gun just always makes it a little bit harder. All right, so this is the blue room. I'm dumb. I just said do the red room, and I went to the blue room because I'm not paying attention to my own advice. For some reason, that guy in there, I don't think he will detect you until you actually shoot him because I've stood behind him and shot a guard, like, point blank behind him, and the body fell on him, and he didn't even notice. Be careful. This camera doesn't see you when you do this. So this person's kind of oblivious. I've been detected like once or twice by them when I have the gun, but still. So if you got that blue room and then you come over here to the red room next, you'll have your gun out. And then when you pull here, you're pulling out in front of a woman in front of a camera with a gun. Or I guess the camera's off because you do the blue room first. Sick. She going to follow me in here because I'll just take her out. All right. Don't look, camera. Don't look, camera. Okay, well, don't do that. Yeah, like I said, sometimes it hits you, sometimes it doesn't. So you want to hack the computer and wait. Also, my gun does not have a suppressor. I have the wrong gun on, so I guess I'm carrying this around before I shoot loud and ruin this whole thing. Uh, activate this. So... If you have not done the switch, now they'll make you go downstairs, go back down, and hit that switch if it was in the room, like, right over there. 
But since you've already done that, you can skip that. Because otherwise you'd have to hit this, go back downstairs, sneak back up, and then re-hit this. But I've already done it, so now I don't have to worry about hitting that switch. Now, the blue code, it says blue and it's the plus sign. They do have the different symbols in it in case you're colorblind. You can just pick one or the other. Actually, hold up. That guard's in a bad spot and that camera's in a bad spot. What's the camera? What's the guard? I'm gonna let them come by first. I'll fast forward this so you guys don't have to wait for this. Oh, okay. So remember to always shut the door before you leave because if you do have a body in there in a camera room or something, the guard walking by can see it. I actually. I should take out those cameras. That way I don't have to deal with them. Spotted a guard. So you do have a set amount of radios. I am on normal, so I should have enough to just kill him and move on. But I guess I'll keep it just in case. Because I don't need to kill this guy. Because after I take out... The, after I hit the switch, I shouldn't need to come back up to this floor unless the manager is up here. But I don't think he was. There's a guard. She would have saw the manager walk somewhere in here or randomly around. Come on, guard, keep going, there. guard. Alright, so if I do any jump cuts and edits, it's not me trying to skip steps or anything. It's just me just trying to keep you away from the bowling parts of me standing here staring at a guard. The, the main thing with these stealth missions that, that you have to learn is patience. Because you're going to fuck it up. You're going to do it over and over and over and over. But once you master a level, you feel so good. You can do this every single time. I've beat this level maybe, if you count the beta, 30, 40 times, somewhere around there. Alright. So, if you don't have a suppressor, one thing I learned that I didn't know after reaching level like 30 is you can actually, like, snuff out the guard. I've always just shot them. It is a lot faster, but you can do this and it picks up the body immediately. Didn't know that was a thing. Well, didn't say anything after the radio, that's no. Alright, so now you have access to all the cameras, they're off, you don't have to look at it, I don't know why I did that. But, we're good now. Uh, what else? Yeah, so now I don't have to worry about cameras, I don't have to shoot a camera, I don't have to disable a camera, they're just all off now. Hopefully I don't need to go back up there for a bit. Uh, if you enter the guard into one of those searching modes, and they're looking around trying to find you guys constantly, the searching mode, they can actually... Like, they have a set path that they're always going to walk. Their path will actually deviate from what it originally was. Guards will come in here, which you don't get till the later levels. And then also, you can get... He better not see me. Hold it. Of course he saw me. Come this way. Why do you shoot? Alright. I'm going to reset everything back up, and we'll restart from here. Alright, guys. We're back where I left off. That was my fault. I'm so used to doing this without a mask, without a gun. I didn't realize when he looked at me, I have my gun out. Because I've done this so many times, just not point a gun at all. So that's why I was like, why did he shoot? He shot me because I'm dumb and I was looking at it with a gun and a mask on. But anyways, we're back where we are. I have both the key cards. Cameras are off. Uh, the only thing different is when I got caught by that woman going into the room, I don't have a woman tied up in there now. She didn't catch me this time. But anyways... We're in the same boat. Thank you, Chains, for marking that through a wall when you are outside. Thanks. But, yeah. The biggest point now is once the camera's off, I just got to go to that, and we got to hit the blue switch. So every time you have to restart, and then all, like, vote to restart, reset everything, nothing will change. Nothing's going to change unless you actually leave the lobby and go to the main menu. Once you do that point, that's what we'll start to re uh, refresh. There's a guard that can spawn here, and there's an executive that will spawn here. Don't go for that executive. It's not going to do anything. The guard here will spot you, so be careful. If you look here, you can see all the fingerprints. You can guess it. It's always four numbers, but it shows three. That means one of them is done twice. That's going to be a pain to solve the brute force guess. But we're just going to grab the executive. So if we do this and we find out what the code is, say we fail at some point and we got to redo this, you don't have to do this step anymore. Write down the code, memorize the code, you're good. There's after you after you have that code memorized, you don't have to worry about it because you'll be in the same boat 
Rid of this. Let me wait for this guy to move. He kind of has me trapped. Yeah, one of the things I like to do when I play with people is I brute force all the way through to this point, get the guard, find the code, and then I redo the entire thing over, but I don't put on a mask ever. Oh, Hold it. Guy. Yeah, I was in a terrible spot there. What's your status? Over. No reason to panic. Just a hunch, really. But I think there's pretty strong evidence that the aliens are about to invade planet Earth. Uh huh. Mm, yeah, sounds good. <laughs> Should hide the body. Oh, it's fine, exact. This is the one thing we didn't look for prehand because I went loud and he ran out. Actually, you don't have to do this. But since I have this guard here, it'd be easier just to take all these guys down. There's my executive. That's an executive with access so, to there's a guard that walks by out here. I got spotted once during the beta and I haven't since. There's only one guy in here. Please, go away. Go away. The higher difficulties, the more pedestrians there is up here to mix everything up and make everything worse. Uh, the guard's dead. Let's take this guy out. This one, this one will walk around. That one will just stay on the computer the entire time. So this one, when she comes out here, grab her. This guy, you don't have to, but I came in the room just to grab anyways. All right, so now we have our executive. Break into here. There's a safe that can spawn in this room and spawn in the top room right there. You can crack it. Sometimes there's extra money and other stuff, but you don't really need it. Please. Just be careful doing this. If, if there's a guard around here in those windows, they could see you. Also, you don't have to tie down these people in this room to escort this guy. I just do it. makes it a little bit easier. Easier for you guys. Less stress. Okay, this is one of the most iffy parts of the game. Timing this right. Because if you time this wrong and a guard walks up, it could ruin your whole run and you gotta redo it over. Alright, he's got computer for us. If the cameras are off, you can put them right here. Even if the guard's still walking, he will not see him here. Alright, so now we go to the computer. The computer's spot can be a few different spawns. One of them's right here. The other one is upstairs in this room there's like two or three spawns in there but this is the easiest one I've also had it spawn in there once during the beta I don't know if that actually spawns during the game I waited to make this till after the beta because I didn't want to give you guys tips on how to do everything and then have it change when the actual game launched but you're going to act here log in and the top left you're going to see three codes so remember that it was three numbers only that had fingerprints. The first one has four different numbers, so that's wrong. The second one has four different numbers, so that's wrong. So it's either the first one or a second one. Just does it have a seven or an eight? That's how you're going to tell. So the seven has been pressed, so it's going to be seven, seven, three, one. Wait. Nope, did that one wrong. I did that wrong. It was the three. Or it was the, the... Wait. Wait a minute. I might be dumb here. Wrong code. Wait a few seconds to give it time to reset. A few moments later. Alright guys, we reset everything back where it was. Luckily I still have those codes written down. It's my own fault for not paying attention. It's on my phone, pull back up the codes I wrote down right there, and I was setting back up the video. So that makes sense, right? Taking too much time, got caught. I need to shut this before this guard spots me. Sure, maybe I hide your head. Alright. 
I got confused looking at the codes. Caused myself to get caught there. So that's why that guard up in the front. But I even warned you guys. Uh, still the same blue. I'm in. So since I've already know the codes, I no longer need to grab that guy. So I can ping that guy now. 5795. So that was the code. And then now you're in. So remember, make sure it wasn't shut at the beginning. Like I said, guys, this will take a few tries. It usually does. And then once you've done it a few tries, you'll get it down. It'll become a lot better. You won't be like me taking three times to do it. Usually I can do it first try, but do an extra step to show stuff off and fuck it up. Alright guys, sorry, my wife walked in. I cut it to where I finished popping all these. I didn't grab anything yet. So there's a bunch of little money, jewelry, some empty stuff. You'll even find some cheese toast in here sometimes. But uh, you'll find some actually big bags of money, which is going to help because grabbing all the bags without the dies popping off solo is extremely hard. I've only been able to do it once. So I probably will not do it here. Yeah, but these documents are for the challenge if you go through and find all the papers. It's like, find the documents for extra blah blah blah. Yeah, I think there's some challenge for it at the beginning, but... I don't know, I grabbed all of them out of the gate. So once you lockpick this one, as soon as you open it, that's when the die packs start to go off. There's one on each one of these. I got all but two. You can take the die pack money, you still get money for it, but I don't really need money at this point. So I'm just doing this to show you guys how to do it all. I'm almost separate the good money and the bad money, because. If it gets dicey, I'll just ditch the bad money. It's not needed. So the only thing different between this playthrough and the other one is one, I don't have that manager that I tied up. I just had the codes already. The other thing is, is I don't have everybody down on the ground in that bottom floor room. Uh, the whole bottom floor, the people are still walking around. I only have that one that spotted me when I started re-recording. Besides that, everybody else is still good. And then, so the van to escape can spawn on two different areas. It can spawn in this parking lot right here, which is the easier one, I'd say. Otherwise, it will spawn, say this is the front road right here, it will spawn in that corner. And then to do that one, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to grab a bag. Go this way, come out. Never go this way unless you don't have a mask on. You'll go down this hallway. You'll make a right, and there'll be a big red door. You unlock that door, and then walk out the gate, and then your van will be parked right there. The only thing you have to be worried about is there is a guard that walks this back area. You can take him out, but he's really, really, really easy to avoid, so I wouldn't even worry about it too much. Guard, over there. So, one trick you can do is, we throw a bag at a person, he puts the bag on, the game will count that as if you evac, it will count as throwing the bag in. So it will save you from depositing a bag. Be careful with this Watch guy. The, the, the only thing that sucks about it though, is in the top left, you have to secure a certain amount of money before you can even leave. If your guy is holding the bags, it counts as securing the money when the round's over, but it doesn't count as in trying to leave. So there's a different little thing for that that makes it a little bit difficult. Always close that going in and out. There's a guard. I have two more alarms, so I might just take him out. But I don't want to take him out there because these guys would see it. Yeah, just you can go the right side away. They perfectly have all this stuff set up, so you can sneak around. Make it a little bit easier for you. But at this point, it really is just grabbing the bags, throwing them in the back, and then you get to leave. Um, I will make a guide for this for every single difficulty. I'm going to do 
uh, with and without the map or the mask. Uh, he did not see me. That's cool. Not going to question it. I'll just accept it. But yeah, they perfectly have a route just for you to sneak around. I have not had these people find me ever doing this, so they're too distracted looking the other way. That's new. Never noticed that guy before. Um, if the guards, when he walks, he'll stop right here. If you go all the way into this wall, it will perfectly block you from where he's going to stand. They like designed it perfectly. Yeah, so if you go perfectly in this corner, as far as you can go, it blocks you from that spot. Otherwise, he's going to see you. But if you don't have a mask on, you can just sneak and walk right through. They're not going to do anything because you're in a public area. Where's he going? Guard? That's weird. He looped back on his pathway. I didn't pay attention to mask or learn his path. He usually goes this way, this way, smokes, walks that way, and it comes back up like a big loop. Let's wait for him to move. So you just gotta watch for that back guard, and then you gotta watch for the guard that's here. Guard over there. Be careful standing, because they will spot you. <laughs> the only civilians you'd have to worry about is on the higher difficulties. Sometimes they will walk into that room where I have the person tied down. That's why I put them in that exact spot, because if it lands perfectly, the person will not see them. Because they only register their head. If they don't see their head, they're not gonna do anything. Which I don't think this pedestrian is coming this way. Yeah, just not. We're good. So I'm gonna start training the bags. Bags you can throw and leave in the open. The only thing it's gonna do is it's gonna signal a searching moment if a guard sees it. He'll run up, check it, notify that there's a bag, and then if guards see you, they're not gonna escort you out. They're gonna handcuff you again. But oh well, it can make it a lot easier. Alright, I grabbed the last bag now. The main thing I forgot to say is when you're doing this area, when you're coming in and out of here, do not sprint. If you sprint in here or in there, this guard can hear you and he'll come in and check. Which will also see you and your buddies or if there's a guy tied in here, he'll spot them too. Which will make you have to go loud. These mind things I haven't used yet. I'm gonna try these. See if that works. So that should light him up. I 
Zumindest, ne? staring at us all. Alright. You have a bag? Why can't I spot him? What did a guard? Come on, guards. You guys are perfectly just stopping me from walking bags. There's nothing worse than getting stopped at this point in the game. I'm gonna try this, put that there. So those are sensor mines. If some if a guard walks over them, it should light them up. Hi, so, uh, yeah, I just want to check. When am I supposed to push this button again? Only in emergencies? So what exactly is an emergency? Because I just saw a really big cockroach. All right, I'll make that a lot easier. Everybody's fucking texting me at once. So I do have one alarm, so I could take out that guard and just make this a lot easier. I might if he comes back, because it's the end of the uh, level. I don't really have to worry about too much now. I wonder if I tie him down if I have to tie that guy down. I wonder if that's why they put him there. Because I've never seen that guy up there. Just make sure to do this big loop. That way those guys don't detect you. Higher difficulties, there will be more people in here. Might as well grab the extra bags on here, right? So he is glowing because he's on that mine. That's cool. If that's my first time actually using that in this game, I just unlocked it. Let's take him out. I guess I'll move him so he's in a better spot. Everything all right over there? Hey, why do you want me to answer all of these questions, huh? I've got enough to deal with as it is. Leave me alone. Is that so? Oh, well, messed up my slide jump. What happened? Embarrassing. There we go. That's six bags. The Black Ops 3 movement is actually the most fast way to get around the map. When it sucks, so sliding is loud. So if you're already going loud, you might as well do it. Okay, so... That's all the bags in there. They all still have a bag on them. I'm not going to grab it just so you guys see. He does get all the bags on the way out. Uh, this map's not that hard. You don't earn that much, but it is really rewarding learning to do this. It makes this map so much more fun. So you see all the bags I got. If not, they'd be gray. The higher the difficulty, the more bags. And then 20 minutes isn't that bad to beat one. It'll probably take you a little bit longer. Fastest I've ever done this is with three people, and we did it in 11 minutes. 
Some of them you can do pretty fast. We did do the um, nightclub mission. I did it in 4 minutes and 45 seconds. There's ways to speed run different ones and get them done almost immediately. You don't get all the bags, but you do complete the mission, so you do get all the XP to level up, which is great. But you don't have everything when you get to do speed runs like that. But yeah, guys, uh, I want to do every single level, every single difficulty. I want to do all the different like little challenges that they give you to do. Finally got a suppressor for this gun. So we have a bunch of different challenges. There's one to like get every single dollar off the map. We didn't get every single dollar. To get every single dollar, we'd have to go into each and every little safe. We would have to lock up the front room with all the people in there and then get all the money from behind the counter. There's a whole bunch spread out through there. There's some money in an office you can grab. There's a bunch of different money you gotta grab on that to get all those. But yeah, that was it. Hopefully this, this helped you. If it did, please give it a like, send it to some people, subscribe, all the normal dumb shit. I'm going to do every single map all the way through and try to get a good and easy and comprehensive guides for you guys to make this work. Alright guys, thank you for watching. I'm out.